call this the year of the mid-major. For the last decade or so, college basketball has often been viewed along major conference slash mid-major lines. But the 2013 NCAA tournament bracket released Sunday would indicate the gap isn't that big at all. Gonzaga 31-2 earned the number one seed for the first time in school history, leading a charge of mid-majors this year that got treated well by the selection committee throughout the bracket. Gonzaga gets everybody's best shot then they show up, selection committee chairman Mike Bovinsky said during the CBS selection show. In our judgment that's a very complete and very strong basketball team, and in our collective estimation they deserve to be on that one line. The discussion over number one seeds, and the order of them, was more muddled than usual. Parsing that issue was particularly important this year because the argument between Indiana and Louisville for the number one overall seed would determine which school got placed in the geographically friendly Midwest Regional. That debate was won by Louisville on the strength of its Big East Tournament title Saturday night, while Indiana lost to Wisconsin in the semifinals of the Big Ten Tournament. That pushed the Hoosiers to the East Regional in Washington, D.C as the number three overall seed and gave Louisville the final for path through Lexington, KY, and then Indianapolis, both within 115 miles of campus. While the Cardinals got favorable geography, however, they didn't necessarily get an easy path to Atlanta. Colorado State, a rugged rebounding team, or underachieving but talented Missouri would wait in the round of 32. If Louisville got through that, it could face St. Louis the country's buzz team after a devastating run through the Atlantic 10. Then a potential matchup with number 2 seed Duke, which was in play for a number 1 seed, or number 3 seed Michigan State might await in the Elite 8. For Indiana, the path seems a bit easier on paper, though the region's other heavyweights, number 2 seed Miami Flo, number 3 seed Marquette and number 4 seed Syracuse, are all capable of making final for runs. Gonzaga, which heads the West Regional, could end up facing Big Ten Tournament champion Ohio State or Mountain West champion New Mexico for a berth in the final for In a year when bubble teams had little to complain about, the selection committee clearly rewarded schools from outside the so-called power conferences with the final spots. Middle Tennessee might have been the most controversial selection with just one top 50 win and a loss in the Sun Belt Conference semifinals. But the committee rewarded the Blue Raiders for their shiny 28-5 record, good RPI 28 and top 10 non-conference strength of schedule. As we ultimately got to it, we looked at Middle Tennessee's veteran team, their ability to win on the road, really no rough patches along the way, committee chairman Bobinski said on CBS. The difference between Middle Tennessee and other teams was the ability to win on the road. The other teams really struggled to take their show on the road, and that was probably a deciding factor in a lot of those cases. Middle Tennessee was sent to the first four in Dayton, Ohio, alongside St. Mary's out of the West Coast Conference, Boise State out of the Mountain West and La Salle from the Atlantic 10. Among the other bracket takeaways, Oregon, which won the PAC-12 tournament, got stuck with a 12 seed in the Midwest Regional, indicating the Ducks probably would have been left out of the field had they not earned the automatic bid. That was one of several head-scratching seeds for the PAC-12 which clearly wasn't respected much by the committee as California also got a number 12 seed and Colorado earned a number 10 seed. Arizona and regular season champion Oklahoma each earned number 6 seeds. The committee, which always seems to produce juicy early round matchups, put North Carolina as a number 8 seed in the South Regional. Thus, if the Tar Heels advance past number 9 seed Villanova, they would almost certainly play number 1 seed Kansas. North Carolina coach Roy Williams against his former school in Kansas City, N.O. The Mountain West Conference earned five bids for the first time in history, with regular season and tournament champion New Mexico leading the way as a number three seed in the West. But now, the Patriot League champion, might have been the most surprising seed of all. The Bison, which finished 27-5 but had a strength of schedule of 192 are a number 11 seed and will play number 6 seed Butler in the East Regional. The Southeastern Conference, which struggled in non-conference games in November and December, was basically dismissed by the selection committee. The league earned only three bids, with OLD Miss, which won the league tournament Sunday, getting a number 12 seed in the West Regional to play Wisconsin. That left Kentucky, Tennessee and Alabama on the outside looking in. For Kentucky, 
It's only the second time in 21 years the Wildcats are headed to the NEAT. It's the second time in the last five years the SEC has earned only three bids.